So you're a big techno fan, that's what that's about. I bet you like Skrillex. You like dubstep? I'm gonna say dubstep is where you're at. I gotta keep doing this. Oh, that just fit perfect. I better not have modified that geometry on them because that's the most annoying thing is when you click out from the horizon you actually only move some geometry that you did not mean to do. Good. Naps. Sorry about that. I think these are all very similar geometries. As far as this game goes, I'm trying to do the world first, because in my opinion, the code is very simple. Coding's not very hard for video games. So we found you. That was a solid find right there. God, freaking! I hate that thickness goes away.
Um, I work for myself, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, the world I'm working on right now is, uh, it's, it's a start of a game, basically. Let me do a quick run through for you guys that are new. Show you a little bit of what I've got going on. So this is not a shooter game, so all that you see on the screen right there, that's not that's not what's gonna be going on. This is a I'm I have a modeler that's modeling other things for me. And he's gonna be modeling the stuff, but basically this is gonna be a pretty much a historical slash fantasy game. Dark, if you've ever seen Dark Age of Camelot, they had they've never made Dark Age two, and in my opinion, that was the best game ever made. So a lot of ideas that come from there. There's a lot of ideas all over the world. I mean, I've played several several MMOs and know what know how games fail. And basically, yeah, here's here's the world I'm working on so far. Coding. I'm probably going to do that once I get models in so I can tag on animations and make sure those are all working good but yes I have coded a lot of C sharp a lot and a lot of C sharp for my last game I made a Heroes of New Earth if you ever seen that it's like Defense of the Ancients Dota it's a uh, I basically programmed Heroes of New Earth inside Dark Age of Camelot so it's like a game inside a game and I, seriously, most of the code is basically the same. They probably use the same API, similar to the same API. But, yeah, let me check. Um, I, see, I haven't, I haven't decided if I want to do that or not because I think it's a better... I think it's a better feel for the game if it's if you're like you know going up the stairs and it feels like you're actually stepping up them, and that's what I get to feel like without that. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Although I will probably put an invisible wall in for the walls because there's some some weird things happening with the walls when I get close to them. It might climb up, so I'm gonna probably put a barrier there. But yeah, there's my waterfall and. The mountain range right there is a this. This is one terrain right here. But over here, with these mountains over here, this is a separate terrain. I'll show you the the little thing over here. I'm glad. Uh, um, Melithius brought up that they're gonna be putting in stitching, so I can actually make this easier. But I kind of improvised my own way of handling this. I don't. Did I just skip it? No, it's up here. So you can see the little. I kind of raised the terrain right there a little bit too much. But here is a box. I basically to connect these two terrains. I put this long box down this this line right here, and I I added terrain over over the box on both sides so that kind of hides it. And don't worry about the the texturing that I'm doing texturing last that's why it looks all weird but just to get a feel for it that, this line divides the two maps and I, I I put a cylinder under this part up here I put a big cylinder I'll show you guys that after I exit out and I put a ball right here just to it's really hard to match these two up so hopefully when that stitching comes in it'll be good but yeah that's pretty much the map right now I'll take a dive in the water over here so you can see it. The water is pretty sick. Took me took me quite a little while trying to learn how to get the water perfect. Cause I mean the the wiki's not the greatest. It's, it takes a lot of learning on your own.
Um, I do have, I have a concept map. It's not, it's not like a real map. I'm improvising all the land myself. The map that I drew is the general structure as to how the world's going to flow. And honestly, it's kind of built like the real world. Except, I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to put a boundary with a mountain range over there to keep it, keep players in. This is going to be the start. This is going to be where you start. So all that stuff. I'm probably going to put an underwater cave over there or something like that. Maybe a, another cave over there. But I'm going to wall all mountains across there. Hook it around to over there. Have mountains right there. And then they're going to be proceeding this way is where I'm going to keep drawing the map. So it's going to be going forward that way. You can see the nice reflective qualities. It's always nice to see. Take a step and looks like my computer is getting a little slow. But here's my underwater, which is sick. I'm proud of it. Took me a long time to get all this perfect. Go. Gotta get out of the physics. Uh, I like how you can see the depth in the water, so you can see my poles, but they get fainter as it gets deeper. And same with the underground. And that's all done with the fog box underneath. I put it. That's where you get the murky in the water from. Is a fog box with a color to kind of like teal color. And then here's my little dock. You can see through the bridge and see the water underneath. I just put these rings on because it made sense, but I mean you got these little bolts, little domes I put on for nails. But yeah, it's looking, I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm probably going to, I might think about walling off these stairs like as like a wall right here, so that you would come in with the stairs and there'd be a wall, not too sure yet. I gotta put more rafters in it for sure though. So then I can put like a pendulum lantern and get a little good light going on in that room. Yeah, see that's my plan, just kind of wing it and modify as I go. 